inspiration, unpredictability, complexity, and fun. What GM doesn't want their campaign to have these? And there's one classic tool that provides them all. Hey there, adventurers. My name is Judd, and this is Short Rest Studios, where fun builds community. And yes, today we're talking about why every GM, whether you're running D&D, Pathfinder, DCC, Shadow Dark, or any TTRPG, should be using random tables. And stick around to the end because we're also going to talk about when you shouldn't use them. And as always, I'd love to hear how you use or don't use random tables in your campaigns. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you dig this kind of content, it would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And please consider supporting the channel by joining the Adventurers Guild on Patreon. The link is down below. Random tables have been part of tabletop role-playing games since Arneson and Gygax, but I feel like some people just don't like them. But I'll be straight with you. I love random tables. There's so much more to them than the dreaded random encounter. And here are five reasons you should be using them in your tabletop role-playing games. First off, we all know rolling dice is fun. Random tables give you the opportunity to roll some more dice, and who doesn't love that? I mean, at, at the very least, it gives you an excuse to open up the dice closet and use one of those sets you've never used. What? You don't have a dice closet? Every Everybody doesn't need a closet for their dice collection? Anyway, whenever or however you put your random tables to use, it's an opportunity to let the dice make another call. Especially when you're building a dungeon, for example. You, you might not normally be rolling dice much during that process, but even using, say, the treasure table in the DMG takes a decision out of your hands and puts it on the dice. And that, of course, leads us to our second reason you should be using random tables. They increase unpredictability. A lot of the fun for your players is not knowing what's coming. And of course, you get that same experience, just maybe with some more stress, when your players come up with some crazy scheme that you wouldn't have thought of in a million years. But let's go back to that building a dungeon example. One of my favorite resources for random tables is Endless Encounters Dungeons from Pace Setter Games. I'll drop a link to it in the description. I recently built a dungeon crawl with this book, and I may have had more fun building it than my party did playing it. The way this book works is you start with your party's current level, and you roll on tables for everything from the types of rooms in the dungeon to the creatures in them. Some are nice, and some are really not. You roll on tables for treasure, traps, everything. It's a really fun process because it's unpredictable for you, the game master. And then when your players enter the dungeon, they're facing off against classic monsters that you may not have thought about otherwise, as well as some monsters that are unique to the Endless Encounters book. See, every game master has a style, but this way your players get to go on an adventure with a different style. It's going to feel different for them. It's going to be unpredictable because you used some random tables. Regardless, whatever resource you use, one that you bought or one you created yourself, random tables bring the unpredictability up a notch, and that just makes your game more fun. Third, they help you, the GM, deal with unpredictability. I said it earlier, sometimes your players do things you don't expect, and, and that's fun. It's, it's stressful, but it's fun. I mean, some of us need a little help thinking on our feet. Honestly, I'm not that good at it by nature. It's something I'm still learning. But random tables can help you deal with that unpredictability by taking some of the stress off you and letting the dice make the decision. Let's say your players choose to go to a town you didn't plan on them going to at all. Now, suddenly you've got to figure out NPCs and locations and secrets and clues, and you probably have to figure out how they can still complete the quest they're on despite having left the story behind. If you have random tables of names for businesses in a village, like a tavern, a temple, a shop, you, you can come up with those more or less on the fly. You need a name for the innkeeper? Roll on a random table of NPC names. You can focus your efforts on the big things, and when the inevitable happens, random tables can help you through it. Fourth, random tables help you create complexity. Mike Shea over at Sly Flourish has a great video on this very subject, and I'll link to it in the description so you can watch it for yourself. 
But the basic idea is that you can create more complex quests for your players by layering different kinds of quests on top of each other, right? The example Mike uses is a typical quest to save the innkeeper's son who got lost in the nearby ruins. You can layer another quest on top of it and it becomes a quest to save the innkeeper's son who recovered an artifact and plans to open up a gate to the realm of shadow. And you don't have to stop there. Creating this kind of complexity in your campaign is something you can accomplish with random tables. In fact, Mike's book, The Lazy DM's Companion, includes a core adventure generator that includes tables for everything from locations to NPCs to traps to quests to monsters to treasure. It's a great resource for this kind of thing. I'll drop a link to that book in the description too, and to the sample pages free sample pages that actually include the core adventure generator. You can roll a couple of times on that quest table, mix in some locations and items from the other tables, and you have a fresh quest with an additional layer of complexity. Finally, random tables are an incredible source of inspiration. There's nothing wrong with rolling on a table and, and taking what it gives you. Sometimes it's even worthwhile just to look at what's available on the table and use what jumps out at you, but you never ever have to take what the table gives you at face value. The magic is really in how using random tables inspires more creativity. Rolling on a random table often provides the seed for an even better idea. It can serve as a prompt to help you get a stalled story moving again, or even send you in a direction you hadn't thought of before. One of my favorite resources for this is the Game Master's Compendium of Explosive Creation. I even did a video on it a while back. It's absolutely bursting at the seams with random tables designed to build character backstories that tie into your campaign world. And in doing that, it excels at igniting the kind of creative story ideas that can help you create compelling character centric plots. I'm dropping a link to that one in the description too. Random tables are a great tool in the Game Master tool belt, whatever TTRPG you're running, but I think there are times when you shouldn't use random tables in your campaign. For example, when you're creating your big events, you as the Game Master should be in control of the big events. Plan those out ahead of time. I'm not saying you shouldn't use random tables to help you come up with ideas. They can give you the inspiration you need to create complex, surprising events for your players. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of using random tables during your game anyway, but if you do, they should just fill in the little details that pop up along the way and that aren't of great consequence. Another bad time to use random tables is when they'll slow down the game and break immersion. A single roll on a table to come up with the treasure in a goblin hideout or a shop owner's name, that, that's fine. But making multiple rolls to determine a more detailed story element means everyone's going to be waiting on you. Then they're going to pull out their phones and start scrolling TikTok and you've lost them. I know you have a lot of other ideas and I want to hear them. So what do you love about random tables? Do you hate them? When should you or shouldn't you use them? Let's talk about it in the comments. Adventurers, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And please check out the membership tiers in the Adventurers Guild on Patreon. Check out this video for more ways to up the fun and unpredictability in your RPG campaigns.